Yes, big time. So we're going we're to compete tomorrow. We're going to go a lot of live situations and you know see who's really. I want it to be about who can play the game of football, not about who understands a lot of our systems more, whether it's offense or defense. But you know, I'm going to put the pressure on coaches to say, hey, be simple enough that these guys can go out and play, and we can see the guys that can react and respond and play football. Where are the quarterbacks right now from the naked eye? It looks like Peyton's I think they're over there. I think they're over there in the cold tub right now. Um, it looks like Peyton's way ahead. You know what, to be honest with you, I mean, from the, from the naked eye, I mean, they, they've switched back and forth with the ones and the twos each day. And, you know, sometimes that makes it a little bit harder on them. And you can see, you know, when, when they're going with different guys, it makes it a little bit different for them. Um, but I, I wouldn't say that there's anybody that's for sure right now. And, and to be honest with you, you know, we'll. We'll discuss and talk with them way before we really make sure everybody outside knows. But again, we don't really know. Um, I think we got some good feelings on both of them, the things that they've done. Uh, but we really want to see them play on Saturday, to be honest with you. Are there other positions, especially that you're looking to sort out Saturday? Well, I mean, you know, we, we, I don't know exactly the whole offensive front right now, you know, line wise, because, you know, they're bouncing five, six, seven guys around in there. So we're going to be able to mix those guys up and by next week get a real lock in to say who are the who are the five, six, seven guys that you're going to basically roll with those guys because they got to learn to really work together. So we got to find that out. And then I think defensive front wise as well. I know we're, we keep saying we're going to play eight guys, but, but we need to know who those guys are going to be going to be held a little bit higher and, and truly going to be accountable, not just hey who's hot. You know we need to know we need to see these guys play and who, who can do the things the way we're supposed to have them done. What do you think from what you've seen so far is the team strength? Coaching. <laughs> Besides coaching. No. I, gosh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I think we are a physical. I think we can be a physical group. I really do. I think we can. I think we can run. Whether it's you know up front, defensive line wise, in the back end, the wide outs, and running. I think we can run. I think athletically we can run. I just, you know, we got to put it together and play the game of football. The game of football is not track. I know we can run and that can be a strength for us, but you can only run really fast and really well when you know exactly what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. And I think that's where the abilities wise, I don't think we have any, I don't, I don't worry. It's more say, hey, do we understand the game of football and can we handle um, adversity when things don't go our way right away? You know, that's what I, that's what we really, that's the maturity that we need to be able to see and continue to grow with. With Hayden, the question has been taking care of the football and not turning it over. He's had a really good run here so far this week. Is is that pleased with that? You know the way he's taking care of the ball. <laughs> yeah, I think I think all now we we talked to him about that specifically. I've sat down with them with Coach Dembrock and just really make sure they understand what our expectation is as a quarterback, and, and and that's controlling the offense. And sometimes that means taking what's there. That means handing the ball off. That means accepting the blame for. Or maybe some things that might, maybe really to the naked eye, don't aren't yours, or to, to, for us, we understand it's not yours, but able to do that. So there's a lot more things than than just you know stats and things like that. Uh, but taking care of the ball is definitely probably the first one that uh, that we stress. The opening today ended in a tie. Yeah, I don't ever like that. It was probably a little bit. Uh, our coaches are more athletic than I thought. I I thought for sure we would have some some buckles and some knees drop and. Actually, I was worried about us having a couple of torn or something, but they did a hell of a lot better than I thought. So, Coach Crook got out there and made a nice. It was smooth. He didn't. He didn't bat an eye at it. I thought for sure he looked like that little leaguer out in the out in the outfield, swaying back and forth, like he had too many drinks. But boy, he must have been an athlete in his younger days. How much are you looking forward to seeing what happens to A lot, a lot. You know, spring is spring, and spring is really different. You know, because there's not any of the real real pressure on you. Uh, tomorrow, and we'll talk about it tonight as a team. Tomorrow is game day, you know, and it, it's going to be our greatest challenge to see who can really go out there and compete. You know, a lot of guys can do it out here when it's scripted and there's some things done. And it's going to be a challenge to our coaches too, because it's going to be a call-it situation, and they got to find a way to work together as well. So I mean, it's not just for myself too. You know, I got to listen and see where I can poke my head and where I can stay out. Um, but I think it's it's a it's it's something for all of us. You know, these guys, it's the first time saying we're, we're really legitimately honing in on going to win a football game. And you got to go compete to, to win a starting job or secure a starting job. And, and us as coaches, we got to work really, really hard on how we're going to handle a game day situation. Um, 
you know, communicate and be able to do those kinds of things. When you play, where do you stop? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, it'll, be, it'll be situational stuff, but it, there'll be there'll be a bunch where it's, hey, it's minus 25, let's go play it, you know, and, and let's see what happens. You know, so it makes the coaches have to work with There's no, hey, just all we need to feel. No, 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 it's not just 10 plays. It's, hey, let's go play. But we, we might do some ones on twos, twos on ones. You know, so it's, it's still a little bit uh, unscripted just yet. Will you do another one next week? We will, but it, it'll be a little bit more of a mock. It'll be some, some other situational stuff. Um, probably a little bit more of, of you know, really going through a routine of how we'll do a Friday night and everything that we're doing. Uh, but it'll still be a competitive situation. Just don't know that it'll be alive. You know, tackle to the ground is as stressful as uh, as competitive as this one. This is the big one. This is the big one. Thanks. Thanks.